I'm going to be reading the opinion of Kenneth Strange. He's a former FBI special agent. And again, his name is Kenneth Strange. And this is his opinion on the FBI raid on Roger Stone and the Robert Mueller special counsel investigation. The video had all the markings of a pre-dawn knock-and-announce arrest warrant on a meth lab somewhere in the United States. There were some two dozen federal agents donning tactical body armor and toting long guns. Surely they were going in with overwhelming force to take down armed and violent criminals. Yet, what was CNN doing there and why were they being allowed to film in such a dangerous environment? In the light of day, the situation began to make itself clear. This raid was not a message by law enforcement to one of the Mexican cartels or MS-13. It was not intended for ISIS or the mob. In fact, it was a visceral message, as former federal prosecutor Paul Butler so aptly put it, sent by Mueller to Roger Stone, former Trump campaign strategist, and his deaf wife, this is personal, was his message. To witness the Bureau being hijacked by Robert Mueller's office and forced to flex its muscles in an inordinate show of force against another harmless and pur purportedly white-collar criminal was perplexing. The manner, timing, resources, and manpower used to effect Stone's arrest bordered on the surreal. And while Mueller and his minions may have been within their right to execute an arrest warrant in such a manner, their indifference to the optics of this reality show arrest is baffling. Former FBI agents will tell you that when they arrested these type of individuals, it wasn't done this way. In their FBI, in my FBI, the prosecutor would have requested that Stone self-surrender at an appointed time and date. Back then, the FBI displayed professionalism and common sense while refraining from malice. What changed? In speaking with current and former FBI agents about the Friday morning incident, three questions have been raised and need to be answered by FBI Director Christopher Wray. One, why the tactical presence for such a puny threat? Two, how did CNN manage to film the arrest? Three, has the Bureau lost its way? The embarrassing jackbooted tactics almost certainly were sanctioned by FBI Director Christopher Wray, who having replaced James Comey, was initially seen by the rank and file as his own man, but now seems to be Mueller's errand boy. Wray has been quick to vent his displeasure to the president, yet remains strangely quiet when it comes to Robert Mueller. A former FBI agent colleague, Riley pointed out, Looks like Roger Stone was a real threat. Fortunately, he didn't attack the CNN reporters who were at his house a whole hour before the FBI even got there. Other former FBI agents feel that the hard-earned reputation and their sacrifices over the years continues to diminish before their very eyes. Regrettably, the FBI finds itself being hijacked for political purposes by the Robert Mueller Special Counsel Investigation. The men and women of the FBI who day in and day out come to work to protect the citizens of this country did not sign up for this type of work. Because of the overt manipulation of the FBI and its recent political weaponization, the American public is losing respect for what was considered the premier law enforcement agency in the whole world. Kenneth Strange, who wrote this opinion, served on the FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force in New York, New Jersey, and also as special agent in charge of the Department of Justice Office of Inspector General in Los Angeles. He is now the Vice President of Business Development for an international investigative services company.